If you haven't noticed, we're 500 subscribers. And you almost clicked off of this video because the first shot is a little weak. Ignoring the fact that we are on top of what is almost certainly the wagon, we thank you for sticking around and giving us 500 subscribers. That is awesome. Today is a bit of a fun celebration of 500. Yep. Uh, well, we're not exactly sure where this video is. Headed. We got an idea, but we're not exactly sure. Uh, you can't tell, but it's currently pouring rain, and it has been for the past week. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty wet out there. Uh, right now, it's getting to be winter. It's fall, winter. -ish. So, uh, we're going to take the old wagon out in celebration of 500 <laughs> subscribers. In the wet, with no windshield. No windshield. Yeah, that's, that's the best part. Or windows on the side that don't roll up. It hasn't been driven in, like, really driven in probably a month. Couple yeah, months. Yeah, probably a couple months since. Probably in summer. Yeah, much. since the cold yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it so. Was hard. <clears throat> we'll see how she fires up and uh, see how many mice we can find. <laughs> That's a long story. <laughs> we'll get into that later. So, the aftermath of the intro is uh, a nice dent right there. Might have to get in and kick her up, but uh, there might be quite a few mice in here. I got in this car early this morning, and I had it running. And out from the sun visor was a mouse that jumped, this is the shirt I was wearing, right into here and scuttled all <laughs> over. And I had to sit there and do this for like a solid minute. Not, I don't know, it wasn't that long. But it happened so fast, I got out of the car to see where it was, and he was gone. He might still be in here. Let's just uh, let's just fire up and get on out there. Yeah, this is the sun visor right there. No, something was chewing at the visor. Something was chewing and like coming up here. You can see. Oh yeah. I'm chewing this off and going somewhere. So it was up here when I I just happened to be unlucky. We got to put water in the old rad here and uh, yeah. Then we'll get onto the video. So. Hey. It works nice. Look at it. it uh, works like a charm. I, I can see straight yeah, through that I mean, thing. It's, not, it's like there's not even a window there. All right, we got wind in all of her tires. You can kind of hear the exhaust is popping. She's ready to go. We're going to go find some mud. Here we go. Well, unfortunately, this didn't last long. You can see we're coming down this road. A little too hot, I guess. And uh, it's pretty muddy. So, see this little trench here? Kind of just center off a little bit. This is actually kind of like uh, kind of a similar video to Bucks and Ducks. Yeah. No, look what's down that hill. Well, uh, yeah. Well, two wheels. And yeah, we'll put a link, you know, somewhere up there to a, a video right in this spot. Actually, <laughs> this exact spot. It was actually right here that the they came whipping around here in the Kubota and did the same thing. Yeah. So it almost went off, but it dug itself in because. Yeah. It's like that. We'll go get a, uh, a tool. Yeah. We'll be back. Alright, our rescue tool is a little dead, so uh, thanks to Wes's big old jump box here, we're going to start it up, hopefully. Yep. If we can get it on Hook there. that one. You can see, it's got power now. It's pretty cold, so... Let that warm up. All right, you can see we're hooked up to the winch. Wes is over there with the quad. And uh, I'm going to hop in the old wagon here and see if we can't get her unstuck. quad wouldn't pull it out so we gotta get the 50-30 and hopefully not get this thing stuck. Alright, 
see we made it out finally 50 30 saved the day this thing uh it needs some mud tires it's just not it's not loving the mud it's too heavy it's too long it just doesn't doesn't do good in the mud um i think we're probably gonna wrap the video up after this so we'll meet you back up at the old at the old farm so we tried to scout a mud hole and it didn't go like planned at all <laughs> we just drove practically straight off a cliff but not really just into a dirt pile next to the cliff we made the dirt pile we made the dirt pile next to the cliff <laughs> us. so uh, there you go there's a dirt pile there if you were interested ended up putting a rescue vehicle out there with a winch on it didn't rescue it had to rescue the rescue vehicle like twice and then we decided well we'll use a tractor and sure enough the tractor was easy just pulled it right out so <laughs> This is the end of part one. There are two parts. The second part is hopefully a race, which you might get to see in the near future. Yeah. Uh, it's called the Mud Ball 500 in honor of 500 subscribers. And uh, it's gonna be like a little race, a little fun thing out of the mud pit. We were trying to scout one originally and uh, didn't go so well. So see you guys next time.